The gospel of the kingdom is the gospel that brings you under the government of the spirit. You begin to live by the energy and the life that proceeds from the realm of God. The gospel of the kingdom is a gospel that enslaves you to the will of the king so that you become an extension of his reality. And the only way men can enter into the reality of that gospel is when lost is tamed. Lost must be tamed. This is what the great awakening is all about. So the first level of preparation, which is one of the most significant reasons for priesthood, is the ability to harness the world back to the Christ. It's evangelism by power. Power, not by mental capacity. Power, because you enter into heaven and you can secure verdicts. He said, have dominion. How can a man have dominion? Dominion is the verdict of intimacy. Because the man mingled with God. God spoke and said, have dominion. That's why Psalm 2 verse 8, he said, ask of me. I will give you the hidden for an inheritance. The uttermost part of the earth for a possession. You ask for the nations before you preach to them. You can't preach to a nation that you have not asked for in prayer. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 2 he said in the last days the house of God remember Jesus said my house shall be called the house of prayer the house of God shall be on the mountain of God he shall be exalted above all his and all mountain and he said men of all nations shall say let us go to the house of God that he may teach us his ways for out of Zion proceeds the law so they are returning back to the law of God. The gospel of the kingdom is the unveiling of the laws of God back to a world ruled by iniquity. And the only way that happens is when men ascend the mountains of God. This is why you are not a preacher now unless you are first of all an intercessor. A lot of people argue scriptures because they think it's an intellectual exercise. You have no voice. People will be hearing your message and fornicating. They will be hearing your message and drinking and say, Wow, this man's a big preacher. <laughs> this man's a big preach. Because there is no power. Ha sefona. Sesalia Mahana Skida. There is never a time where the world was redeemed from iniquity without prayer. The Bible said in Genesis chapter 4, verse 25, God gave another seed to Abraham in the place of Abel that Cain slew and his name was called Seth and he says Seth had a seed and he called him Enosh and he said then men began to call upon the name of the Lord redemption of a word of iniquity begins when men begins to call on the name of the Lord without intercession there is no gospel in the last day the gospel in the last day is not Bible exegesis. It is power. It is power. Power that is born out of prayer. 